Don't call, don't text, don't DM. I'm lost in the stream of consciousness. Ooh, a fish. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kim Love, aka the female Ubi, and I'm back with another video for you guys. I posted on my story, actually, if y'all guys wanted to know, like, how I got arrested in eighth grade. But before we get started, I ain't gonna um, self medicate if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, I think this style is so cute. Like, what I got, y'all? I'm gonna take edibles, so it's gonna take a minute to kick in. I probably should have ate some earlier. I want to rough nigga on the tongue. Hello. Yeah, I was wondering if somebody shared that. They should. What's a rough nigga on the tongue? I love that song. I feel like she hard. And some of the latest from the artists I know are hard. Well, really, I love the little. Ice Spice. That's a, like. Oh! I got it all! Yeah, y'all. So. I'm here with thoughts and fucking brain cells. Anyway. Basically, last night I was super blowed. I ate too many of them chips you know when you get like real real blowed and then all of a sudden you turn into like chef boy are you? yeah so i went in there and my sister had brought some some food and so i'm busting it down and then i was like man let me go make the little red lobster biscuits and then after that i don't, I don't know let me tell y'all this part of the video we for real for real for off i am grateful for all the support that i have been getting i'm grateful for all of it like i really want to enjoy you know what i'm saying I, i'm so grateful for all the support i've been getting on tiktok on instagram on just anything a like a comment a share anything involving like my growth and stuff i really really appreciate it i really really appreciate it i'm 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 feeling like i'm have i'm gonna have my own ogs because like as i get bigger i feel like i'm like seeing like who's gonna be an og because i've been seeing people like like, I don't know, it's the same people I see keep doing the same stuff, and I really love you, I really do. Because it's going to keep getting bigger, but I'm going to remember y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to remember y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed my last few videos. Um, Make sure you comment if you like those on this video. Just keep it going. Just keep it going. Always let me know what y'all want to see more of me. Comments really, really, really do help. I will be doing more vlogs and stuff. Y'all know the Young and Turn Diaries will probably never be over with. I don't know what to call my story times. If you got a name for my story times, leave in the comments below. Period. So this is the wig, y'all. So we're gonna throw on this curly wig. To start the story off, I ended up moving school. So I was gonna go to another school for my seventh for my um eighth grade year, the same school I went to for my seventh grade year. I was gonna go back again to the same school. But I ended up having to move because I got into a fight with a <laughs> I got Wait a minute, hold on. I got into a fight with this one girl and I ended up having to move. I ended up having to go to the school I was zoned for for so a lot of the kids that I like, you know, went to fifth grade with, they ended up going to that school, that middle school. So I'm seeing a whole bunch of people that I, I like I used to know and this one girl we're gonna call her Yeah, that was a hard thing with that. Yo, I changed this girl name so much. So Meezy Pretty or M or whatever I called her. I called her like three different names. All the same person. All the same person, okay? We'll call her Meezy. Basically, Meezy, she knew each other since fifth grade. She was like real pretty or whatever, right? So we ended up meeting Lulu. We was not locked in, locked in. We was just cool, or whatever. Like we wasn't like super close, gang, gang, gang. Like no, 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 nigga. Like we definitely like we just knew each other, right? Now she was giving me like the little drop on girls she didn't like at the school, or whatever. But I didn't think nothing of it, right? She was just telling me something like something at the school that just I don't with really Lulu, right? But she wasn't naming names, right? right? So then later on into the uh, year, I'm still like meeting people. Da, 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 and then meet this one girl. We gonna call the girl Easy. Basically, Easy, she was pretty too. And like we ended up talking, we ended up being cool. She ended up riding my bus home from school. She rode the same bus as me, right? So Easy, me and her ended up becoming cool. We ended up like hanging out a lot. Like if you see me, you see her type time. Like we was always around each other. Like she lived near me, so I walked to her house, or she would walk to my house, or whatever. We would go practice. We go play basketball. We would go play basketball at the park or whatever. We would look right. Easy and what did I call her? Damn, you know, pretty. I don't know. I don't know. They didn't like each other. Like they didn't like each other, right? Pretty ended up telling me later. She was like, "Oh, you hang around Easy, right?" I don't like her. But it had. It wasn't significant. Like it didn't feel like it was something that like I had to like join in. It was nothing like that. Cause it wasn't like they was fighting. Like they obviously they walked in school, seen each other, didn't do nothing, right? So I guess it was just like a little. They didn't like each other. Cause I came later in the year y'all i wasn't there for like whatever happened though. <laughs> anytime i heard the story it wasn't nothing, like nothing happened it was more so it was some petty stuff like i don't even remember that's how unimportant it was y'all. I, I don't even remember why they didn't like each other it wasn't important and honestly me and Andy, we didn't like go like we wasn't locked in like we wasn't you know it was this other girl we gonna call her g 
and G, she and Easy were like close. So like it was like we was a little three out of three or whatever. Or whatever. So I ended up having this one class, and I had it with this one girl. She was like a stud STEM. She was more on the STEM side at this time, so she was like a little stud STEM. And me and her ended up getting cool. We're gonna call this girl Hooper. So Hooper, she was a Hooper. Wait <laughs> anyway, a hold on. I'm not doing this week at all. <laughs> Hooper, me and her ended up being cool, right? She was asking me, like, do I play basketball or am I am I gay? So me and Hooper, we ended up getting cool or whatever. And she ended up having me go to basketball class with her or whatever, right? Because I said I wanted to start doing basketball and like, I wanted to start playing. But it was like my first year of playing, like, for the school or whatever. So me and Easy and Hooper, we all, like, ended up going to basketball trying to whatever. And we're going to get to that because it was something that happened. Not that day, but it was something that happened at basketball college. I'm basically just giving y'all a little synopsis of all the characters. We got Easy, which is, like, my homegirl. Like, I'm, we're close, right? We're close. And then we got G, which is, like, me and Easy's homegirls. But Easy and G more close than me. And then we got Hooper, and me and Hooper have one class together, and we, um, she ended up getting us to do basketball, me and Easy. So Hooper, no, like Hooper friends with like all them, right? She, she's cool with G, and she cool with Easy. And then we got, um, and, damn, what I call this girl? We got Pretty, and Pretty don't like, damn near all these girls, right? She don't like none of these girls for real, right? Okay, well, we start with Hooper, because Hooper, me and, it, it started with me and her first. So basically, we was in our little elective together, right? And I'm about to do the, do the inside of the lace or whatever. I'm gonna use this to. Um, I'm gonna use this to tip. Yeah. I'm gonna use this to tip the lace. I'm gonna use this color right here because it's kind of darker than me. Um, me and Hope was in class one day, and it was this one girl. Me and this girl cool to this day, but at the, at the time when this happened, me and this girl like we didn't talk or nothing. I just knew of her, right? So we all call her Perk. Was well, this one pretty girl named Perk, right? I didn't know her at the time. I didn't know her, right? I just knew she dated this one boy I knew from fifth grade, right? So Perk was basically dating that boy, and Hooper was like talking to me, right? She was like, you know that one girl, Perk? And I was like, yeah, yeah. She, she, I told her she dated this one boy I knew in fifth grade. And she was like, do you think she got to? And I was like, I don't know. She dated a boy. I don't think she, I, I, and my exact words was, I don't think she's gay. After I said that, and we got the fight. He <laughs> <laughs> was like, fuck me. Hooper was like, bitch, you're not playing into my delusion. You're not playing. You're not in the delusion with me. You're not doing it with me. Okay, fuck you. Because after I said that, like, she was not talking to me. Like, she was not cool with me. I'm just like, I don't think she, like, that's all I said. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Like, damn, yeah, bitch, you want me to lie? Like, oh, yeah, she definitely want you. Like, she she definitely not feeling dude. I didn't know, nor did I care. You know what I'm saying? It was so minuscule. Can a stud or a stem or a gay girl or a femme come at me? Like, did I do something wrong? Like, am I supposed to lie? Like, I don't know. I, I, I see her dating a boy. And that's all I said. You know? And, like, I know it sounds crazy, but, like, I was confused, too. I was, like, confused as shit. And the reason i knew that we kind of like wasn't cool no more was because like she was she was quiet for us today in class elective we was in we was in like acting class acting elective or some shit like that it was like theater i think it was theater and we ended up going to the actual theater room and she moved all the way from me like she moved all the way down there like she did not want to sit next to me we ended up going to practice after we was doing drills or whatever what? okay pause i freaking hate when hoopers hoopers period y'all be getting on like the new people that come to the thing Girl, cause you did not come out the womb shooting threes. Like, bitch, bitch, sit your ass down. You had to learn like everybody else. So they're just learning now. Like, nobody, nobody come out the womb just Michael Curry, Kyrie Irving and shit. Like, girl, everybody gotta learn. This, this, well, she was so freaking mad. Like, all the new people was there. She was like, yeah, y'all can't hoop, y'all can't do it. Like, damn, nigga, we a team. Like, ain't no I and team. But I ain't gonna lie, she was a really good hooper, right? So me and Hooper and Easy was all at practice, right? And I was doing a drill. It was me and Hooper. Basically, the drill was you run, you dribble the ball all the way down to the, the free throw line, and then you pass it right to whoever's at the other uh, near the like near where you make layups or whatever. And you're supposed to make a layup. You know what I'm saying? Pretty easy, pretty easy. But at the time, like I'm still learning, so I'm doing it, and I threw and I stood there, and then I threw the ball the first time, and I messed up the first time. I was like, you supposed to do? You supposed to throw that? Supposed to get the line right? It's supposed to be all like sweet and simple and cool she ended up getting mad when i did it wrong the first time so i told you she was like everybody on everybody ass right so the next thing you know i did it the second time and she thought i was gonna fuck up again dumbass she thought i was gonna fuck up again and so when i did it i did it right but she was just standing there because she didn't think i was gonna do it right so it had just rolled past her and she was like she just started yelling at me and this was like what are you doing like this is i'm like nigga you should have caught it and she was like you should have thought right and i was like i did she was like no you did it and i was like yes i did you stood there being dumb no and then i said and i think i called her a bitch i said bitch and then she said who are you talking to and i said i'm talking to you and i was saying her name like i was saying her for that like, i'm talking to you i'm talking to you i'm talking to you like i'm, like, I'm talking to hooper mick hooper saying bitch i'm talking to hooper mick 
Michael Jordan, bitch. I'm talking to Hooper, Mick, Kyra, Irving, bitch. Like, bitch, whoever you want to be today, bitch. Like, I'm talking to Hooper, Mick, Hooper, bitch. And so, <laughs> what am I talking about? It's going to be arguing or whatever. We're going back and forth. But it wasn't leading up to nothing. Like, she wasn't, she wasn't like, you know, it wasn't leading up to nothing, right? So, next thing I know, after that day, we definitely was not cool. Like, she didn't like me no more, right? And she told Easy and G that she ain't like me or whatever. And I didn't really give a fuck. Because I was like, I mean, okay, bro. You been not like me. You not like me out there. I don't want to feed into your delusion with this girl. Mind you, like, I don't know. I have not took a... Hold on, y'all. Let me get one minute. So I can, maybe I should be trying to explain it at the same time. Because this is freaking terrible, right? Y'all, basically two, three days after that or whatever... I end up getting on the bus. We usually sit next to each other on the bus. She's sitting in the front. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm like, what the hell? Because we usually don't sit in the front. I'm like, you know, all the cool kids down the back, right? You know what I'm saying? She's sitting in the front. She's sitting next to somebody. It's just weird because we sit next to each other. So I'm like, hmm. So I sit right behind them and I'm like trying to talk to her. She said, she was like, uh uh, don't talk to me. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm like, what's up? What's wrong with you? What's, what's, what's good, right? And she's like, uh uh, because you're weird. If y'all don't know how disrespectful the word weird is out in Vegas or California or whatever, but that word is so disrespectful. Like, somebody call you weird or call you a weirdo, that shit is so disrespectful. So she was like, nah, you're weird, right? And I'm like, I'm weird, bitch. What the fuck? I'm like, I'm weird. And she was like, yeah, you're weird because Hooper told me that you was talking about me with, what, what's girly name? Oh, with uh, Pretty. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Plus, let me tell you why this irritated me so much at the time. I feel like Hooper was trying to get Easy not to be my friend no more. And then I felt it was so weird because Easy, you're right. Like, they wasn't close, close. Like, they, I don't think they talked outside of school. I don't know. Because, I mean, shit, I had no phone. So I don't know who to put to the on me. So I don't know. My thing was, why are you believing a girl that don't like me? She don't like me. So like, mind you, I, it, was, it was false, obviously. Like, I was not talking about her with nobody. Whatever. My thing was, me and Pretty... We only, the only class we had together was Jim. Hooper did not have Jim with us. So we were talking about you. How would she even be able to hear us talk about you? Not saying that you should know her schedule or whatever, know my schedule or whatever. But it's like, we wouldn't hang out at lunch. We wouldn't hang out like, I would be around easy all the time. Like, it was like, how, who, what? But anyway, I'm looking for the glue, y'all. Ah, where the glue at? Glue. Mind you, I'm doing this before work. Like, this is real life. This is real, real hustle right here. Damn. I like how you dance. Okay, let me get back to the story. So that's basically why I was all upset. Like, you sound dumb. So we get to arguing back and forth, right? And when you be arguing, you don't remember what you were going to say there in the argument. All I remember is stuff leading up to it. So basically, she was like, I was just like, what, bro? That you sound dumb. And then she was like, no, I don't care. It's no beef, but I don't care. I don't want to be a friend no more. Da, da, da. And I was hurt, y'all. I was hurt. I didn't even care for my friends, but I was irritated because I was upset because I was like, what? Like, you're, like, you're the only bitch I really f talk to for real. So it's like, you're weird. Like, why do you believe in a bitch that don't like me? She don't like me. Why would you believe anything that come out of her mouth about me? And I wouldn't let no bitch get in my ear. Now I'm, I'm talking crazy to her. Now I'm like, bitch, you're weird. Bitch, how you gonna bitch like, what? Do you like, you're weird. Da, 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 da. So now we're arguing, we're going back and forth or whatever, but it was like silently, and the bus driver, she did kind of see it was getting a little heated, and she looked back and she was like, just move your seat, just move your seat, but no, I was pissed off, so I was like, nah. and then I ended up calling her a beautiful black woman, like she turned around and said, what you just called me, and I said, B and then, blah, blah, blah. and I think I called her like a dizzy bop, bop ass bitch, a dizzy boop bop, a dizzy fat ass bop, something, just something with dizzy bop, like this, something, like it was giving, I was giving her a spill, like, Bibbity boo bitch. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Like, it was something. <laughs> what the fuck? Was, I just looked at my hair, y'all. What the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I'm using Ghost Bond, the OG. I'm finna get on the Boho way. But Boho be expensive in her beauty supply, y'all. Ghost Bond get me right every single time. I'm not gonna hold you. This is the first glue I ever started using. I'm still locked in. But if any one of y'all wanna send me some of y'all glues, glue removers, flatters, bloggers, whatever, for a wig video, DMs open, email in the bio. Period. So basically, she got mad or whatever, and that's when she had stood up. Wait a minute, and hold on. Every single fight I've been into, besides the time that uh, uh, this bitch snuck me, I've always hit first. Because one, I don't like to fight, and I'd rather get the fight over with. Fights don't really last that long. Honestly, if you're ever scared to fight, just know it don't last that long. It lasts two minutes max. And with all the adrenaline pumping, you're not going to feel nobody hitting you. You're not going to feel none of that. So with that in my mind, I, I really don't care about hitting first as long as we don't. When she stood up and, like, said some, like, 
who are you talking? I forgot what she said. She said something. In that moment, it was a lot of space opportunity. You know what I did? I took the space and the opportunity, and I punched her in her mouth. And I'm going to get into details in the fight, and I have a little clip, and I have to go search this. I have to go to the old OG, triple OG spam. You had an old hood rat when it was called a fence. You know what I'm saying? Middle school. I had to go to that one, y'all. Hurry up. I feel fucking ridiculous. Let me wait till I put this wig back on. Hold on. <laughs> so after I punched her, y'all, her hair was really, 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 really short. Like, a lot of people used to talk about her hair or whatever. I personally don't use it because, I mean, I, I don't understand why I'd be so pissed about somebody else's hair. Like, that should never phase me. Anyways, her hair was really short, and she was always having a little bun to the back or whatever, and the bun was cute. Basically, she pulled my hair, and I had these long-ass braids, y'all. So, when she pulled my hair, I was like, oh, yeah, I gotta pull this bitch hair. Because if this bitch get a hold of my hair, she's gonna have good, good grip. Good, good navigation on my motherfucking hands. Because, <laughs> bitch, if I don't get a good grip on this bitch, this bitch might have the best grip of her life. <laughs> When we had swung, because we was fighting on the fucking bus, y'all. After I punched her, we started grabbing each other. She, like, she swung me. Um, I had my feet on the other seat across. And then she was trying to push me into that seat, y'all. And so as she's trying to push me into this seat, I'm over here, like, you know, <laughs> hitting her or whatever. As she's trying to push me into the seat. And I can figure out, I didn't feel none of her hits hitting me, but I felt her. I know her hits was hitting the fuck out of that seat. Anyways, I ended up falling into the seat, right? See, and she moved back. Like, she thought the fight was over with, right? So she backed up, and when she backed up, that was a bad choice. Y'all, I had these 12s on, and I, bitch, kicked her, her, like, in her stomach, ribs, whatever. And then I just got on top of her, and that's when I started, like, punching her, whatever. Next thing you know, the police, no, no. Next thing you know, the bus stopped. Like, we stopped, because we was fighting, and they were driving. So she had to stop, pull over, right? Boom. I look up. Look up. I've seen America looking at me. I've seen America. I was like, oh my God. I was like, so I'm sitting on the seat. Plus he's getting the like, what he's getting the information from the bus driver. I'm on the other seat. She on the other side. Her lip was leaking. Cause she had braces. Her lot, her lip was leaking. So she wiping the blood or whatever. Y'all, this is like traumatizing. <laughs> this whole experience was traumatizing. You all see me on my blood head host. So we get off that bus, y'all, and I get handcuffed. Handcuffs hurt. I don't know who, yeah, handcuffs fucking hurt. I don't like that shit. And all, this whole experience just seems crazy. Because I have never, in my whole, at that time, I was like, I mean, how old are you in the fucking eighth grade? Like, 14, 15? Okay, in my whole 14, 15, maybe 13 years of living, I had never imagined that I would be in this situation. Oh, oh, so y'all know how I told y'all I had no phone, right? So I'm on the bus, and I'm like, uh, I need to call somebody, like, right now. Because, one, I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know how I'm going to call somebody. And this, <laughs> this bitch, I'm for a dead, like, bitch, imagine you fighting a bitch, and this bitch asked you to use your phone to call. <laughs> no, I'm bitch. No, I'm bitch. You want to be big and bad and punch me, bitch? I have to figure out. No phone having ass. <laughs> like, that's why I was going through her head. Like, bitch, y'all no phone having ass. Bitch, y'all no phone. Bitch, y'all joy using that ass, bitch. <laughs> Somebody, get somebody else to do it. Because me personally, I was talking shit. I was like, that's why you leaking. I have bitch. That's why you leaking. She was like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I said, I have bitch. That's why you leaking. Like, bitch, I was a fucking menace. Oh my God, y'all. But then everything started to click in my head. Like, I was been rethinking every choice I had made up to that moment. And while we in the police car, them niggas is being funny in the police car. Like, them niggas is like like joking like this shit is fucking hilarious nothing was funny to me at this moment at this very moment i'm going through hell right now and i didn't i didn't feel like shit was funny like i, I think i literally said it in the car i think i told her i said i should never hit you i was kind of like a whole ass bitch y'all i punched this girl bitch you didn't gotta be in that bitch thugging like in my job they had to sit next to each other them police was being messy they wanted something to pop off they were like let's sit these bitches next to each other i'm over here crying like a whole ass bitch like I was crying like the police was about to be my ass. Man, because I'm like, oh my god, like I feel like I'm going to the fucking prison. And as a pretty girl like me, the only thing I know about prison is from Orange is the New Black. Can I get an amen? Amen. I know they don't look as bad as the bitches I'm watching on TV. Like, I'm thinking I'm about to go to the fucking pen. I think I'm about to do some real ass time. Like, bitch, fuck the court case. They about to send my ass straight to jail. Fuck the court case, bitch. All the evidence right there. You punched her? Yep, straight to jail, bitch. I thought I was going straight to the pen, bitch. I thought I was about to have to put two chair drops on my face on some more dumb shit. Bitch, I thought I had to find the biggest person on the yard and beat their ass. Bitch, face ass. I thought that's what I was going to be going through, bitch. Like, I'm really scared right now. Like, y'all, I'm really, like, like, really real life scared, y'all. I'm I thought I was going to be on scared straight, nigga. Like, real life, like, what? this is everything that's going through my head right now. I feel like I'm on beyond scared straight. Like, they about to wake me up with milk pork.
poured on my face and she told myself, get your ass up, get up, 15 push-ups right now. I'm not built for that life. Anyway, I'm tired of whatever happened at the police station. So we ended up, the police officer being funny in the car and told myself, huh, how many days should we keep them? I said they should spend a night. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> change of clothes bitch i don't have a toothbrush bitch on me like bitch all i got is school books and fucking pencils bitch like bitch i'm thinking i'm about to use mechanical bitch any bitch try me i'm stabbing you bitch i'm sorry i started the little, little waiting thing we're still in handcuffs i like bitch i done stopped crying at this point so i'm like yeah bitch you really here soak it up bitch oh y'all forgot while we was in the car I, bitch why i asked that nigga to read me my rights oh my god bro oh hell, hell no man what the fuck man so I was in distress, okay? Okay, sweetheart. I could laugh about it now, but I was in fucking distress. Don't blame it. Blame the prison system for sounding so fucking scary, bitch. Don't blame me. That shit sounds scary as shit. Yes, nigga, I told him to read me my rights. That nigga looking at me like, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm about to put you in with the biggest, baddest bitch and make them beat your ass. Like, if you don't shut the fuck up talking, like, that police officer was mad. He said, why? I said, I asked for him. Can you just read him? Bitch, he's gonna read me my rights. I'm like, oh my fucking god. I don't know. I thought that was gonna. I thought that was gonna make shit better. I don't know why. And in there, we was in there for some hours. My my peoples ended up finding me, and I mean finding me, cause they didn't let us call our peoples. It took us a whole different county. So my sister was really looking for us. Like she was like she could not find us. She was like, if I didn't have to call her earlier, she definitely wouldn't know where I was at. Cause they didn't call our parents or nothing. Like y'all, this police be out here to get these young black. Definitely did not do an outro, but that's because I was doing my hair right before work, y'all, and I was hella late. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And fight or not cute, though. But, but I feel like every, I feel like every story time with a fight say that. So, I mean, hey, y'all y'all already know by now. But, I mean, shit. Getting arrested is one of the scariest things ever, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know. But, anyways, y'all, stay young and tight. They won't let me out, no. They won't let me out. But when it comes to like the